Alright guys, what's up? And today I've got a tutorial for you. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to add 3D text into real life images as you see here. Um, and it's fairly easy, I mean not too hard, um, not too easy either. It's kind of in the middle and actually makes a, uh, a nice use for backgrounds for your uh, desktop like I'm using mine here. Or maybe if you're really creative you can do something with it for a YouTube background or something like that. So yeah, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is um, find a picture of a road or something. I think roads look uh, the best for these kind of things. Now this isn't the greatest picture, but it's kind of hard to find something that you're looking for or that I was looking for. And um, you're going to have to go through the uh, Google form or Google images and try and find the best looking one you can. Now after that, you're going to want to open up Cinema 4D and I'm just gonna do that real quick. I will wait for this to load up. Okay, uh, now that that's loaded up, what you uh, what you want to do first is you're going to want to click on the light and go ahead and create a background. All right, and now once you've got your background, you're going to want to make okay this okay. <laughs> just close out of that. That's just the update. Don't worry about that. So once once you're done with that, you're just gonna double click on the materials and then double click on the material to edit it and go to texture, load image, go ahead and load the road image that you made and hit yes. And now once you're done with that, you'll drag it onto the background just like this, and here you go. You will have your road right here. Um so after that, you are going to want to come up here to MoGraph, and then just hit Text Object, and uh, go ahead and put whatever you want. I'm just going to put Visual. Whoops, I can't spell it for crap. All right, Visual. There we go. And we'll pick a font that looks pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Um, can never find a good font. I'm gonna use this one right here though overused font right here that's what I'm gonna use okay so now after that what you're gonna wanna do is kinda uh, try and move it around on the street like it looks like it's really there um, this is probably the hardest part it's not really that hard though um, so after that you'll, you'll you can kinda tell that it would look on the road it would look like it was on the road um, I mean after we add all the shadows which we'll get into later and all that it'll definitely look so like, like it so um, once you've got your text placed right you can have it like this or like this or kind of sideways or something um, you can go ahead and stop there and I think I'm gonna move mine back just a little bit and now if we were to render this out we would just get this which really does not look like uh, the text is on the road or um, or anything like that but don't worry we'll get to uh, work and now once once you have this um, you're gonna go you're gonna want to come up here into the box looking thing and create a plane um, and once you've done that you're gonna want to drag the plane out to pretty big and then you're gonna want to place the plane like it's just just under the text just like I'd say like this so that it looks kinda like it's on the road but it's just right under the text um, and after that we'll right click on the plane and go to cinema 4d tags tags and go to whoops go to compositing and then make sure compositing background is checked and if you render this out the plane will be um, all gray um, but to get rid of that you're gonna go ahead and control click on the um, material on the background and drag it up to the plane and now if you render it out the plane will just not be there um, so now that's how we're gonna add our shadows and um, and stuff to it now you can go ahead and add a light like this drag it up and drag it back and then uh, enable soft or shadow maps and you'll see that there is a um, shadow on the road. Now, as you can see, the text is actually above the road. So we're going to have go go ahead and have to move the 
plane down a little bit and the text down a little bit too to make it look like it's really on the road here now if we render this out there we go that looks a lot better um so actually we're gonna have to move it down a little more and then the plane a little more so this is kind of a trial and error type of type of deal here um, you're gonna wanna get the text right on the plane directly on the plane and that's how it makes it look like it's on the floor so now that we have that as you can see the text will give off a uh, um, a shadow onto the road looking like it actually is um, sitting there on the road but what I like to do instead of that go ahead and edit delete that out is I like to co come up here to my render settings um, go ahead and I'll load mine so that you can just copy it all up the render settings load preset and VG's one okay so we'll remove this now for general full render output 1680 by 1050 that's just because that is how my monitor is that's how it looks great on my monitor you guys are gonna have to do another type of trial and error thing and figure out which one's best for yours and then um, all this you can copy down one to one because it's one frame we only need one frame for a picture and then the save you'll just save it as a JPEG and a hundred percent quality and uh, bring save it to wherever you want now what I like to add is I don't know why object glow is here but you're gonna go ahead and go to effect and add a um, an ambient occlusion it should be up here as you can see I've already added it so it won't be up here and then you'll just change the maximum ray length to 140 and the contrast to 35 percent and after that if you render it out again you will see that there is a little shadow under the text instead of a big shadow kind of flying out of the back of it and it'll make it look a little more realistic than um, a huge light now the um, this type of deal kinda does um, affect or rely on how the picture looks like if the sun is kinda making all the shadows of the real picture actually go back then you would do the light way and um, and then actually add a light and make it so that the light is in front of the text so that the shadow does go back and um, make it look more realistic but in this kind of picture it really doesn't do that so you can just use the ambient occlusion way and maybe add um, whatever colors you want and looks pretty nice and we will make a great background so thanks for watching guys um, hope this helped hope you guys go make a really cool background or maybe even a YouTube background so thanks for watching guys and peace